The Devils are back home tonight behind me here at Floyd Almain's Veterans Memorial Arena to take on the Belleville Senators at 7.05 p.m. It's DIFD night to benefit the Mental Health Association of the Southern Tier. The Devils will be wearing purple uniforms with DIFD patches on it. They will be raffled off on the concourse right after the pregame skate. So head out to the concourse with all the benefits going towards the Mental Health Association of the Southern Tier. Then following the game tonight, a free post-game movie, Despicable Me 3, brought to you by Reality Check. So hang out with us after tonight's game. Well, the Devils looking for win number four in a row tonight against the Sens. I got thoughts from head coach Rick Kowalski about tonight. Yeah, you know, they're a different look, uh, a little more passive defensively, not but uh, physically aggressive. Uh, they got some good size depending on who's in the lineup. Uh, Jim O'Brien leads the charge there. We had him and Jimmy played here. He's a big, strong centerman that plays in all situations. Uh, but they got Blunden and, and, you know, depending whether Seeley, uh, Seeley and uh, Harper are there, they got some big boys, Eglund, uh, on the back end. So a little bit different game for us uh, than we've seen the last two teams. Maybe not as much skill, but still have the ability to score goals uh, by getting pucks to the net and crashing. So uh, another challenge for us every game, another team, every game we've played them has been tight and close. and. Uh, you know, physically contested. So, uh, you know, I think if anything, guys should be eager to get back out in the ice and get back at it here uh, after having some success. The Devils coming off a huge win Wednesday morning. It was an 11 a.m. face-off at Rico Coliseum in Toronto over the Marlies. Yeah, guys are, are playing well. We feel pretty good about our game. Obviously a big win in a real tough building and a couple wins against uh, two top teams in the division. So, if anything, um, uh, confidence should be high, but uh, we've tried to make uh, a point as a coaching staff to really identify how we've won hockey games, and that's from being hard physically and, and being hard to play against by playing tight as a five-man unit, and I think we've been good on both sides of the puck and, and playing fast, and, and uh, it's something we've talked about and something we've seen from time to time all year, um, but the consistency to a man is, has been good with it, and uh, Hopefully we can keep it up. A lot of positives from the Devils lately. In Wednesday's game, Michael Latta had a goal and an assist. And then Christoph Birchie had a goal and an assist. Birchie assisted Latta's goal. Latta returned the favor later on in the game on the power play as the Devils took a 3-1 win. Yeah, uh, you know, Latts was not feeling well. It was a question mark of whether he was even going to play. Uh, but he battled through it, uh, had a big game uh, for us. And then Birchie's, you know, and, and Lucia both... Uh, uh, look comfortable, more comfortable every game, and you know we're rewarding them with ice time and minutes, and uh, they give us a uh, certainly give us a, a level of skill and, and, and increase our speed up front, uh, which has been a big part of, of why we've been able to win a couple games here. Ken Appleby, Ed Net, he's been solid for Binghamton. Yeah, well, it starts there too. You know, we've we've been good. Our team game's been good. We haven't given up much. We've had the puck more, so therefore haven't. Uh, spent as much time in our end but uh, when we've needed saves he's been real solid and uh, you know it's something that uh, there's, there's been a lot of our, our parts of our game that have been lacking this year but uh, there's no question that the goaltending has been inconsistent and um, you know even going back before we, we got on this stretch uh, they were both playing well uh, and it's got to be a combination of the team game and the goaltenders but uh, Kenny's been real sharp lately. Again puck drops tonight 7.05 p.m. Join us DIFD night head to BinghamtonDevils.com you get a discount ticket for tonight and then tomorrow back home against Lehigh Valley a free post game skate with the Devils all you have to do is be here at the game bring your skates and then you can hit the ice with the guys following the final horn 705 puck drop tonight if you can't make it we'll have it for you on u.s country 96.9 and 680 a.m winr beginning at 645 with the mt bank countdown to face off for another edition of devil's game day from the floyd in binghamton on devil's vision i'm rob lapolis